ever come across a company that couldn't decide between two different brands of machine tools to buy. So they bought both and put each of those to the test. And now they're telling us, in their opinion, which one's best. My name is Brian McKeown, I'm the Managing Director of Donlock Limited. We're situated on the west coast of Ireland. It's a precision engineering company, particularly in the medical device and aerospace industry. So we're in our new medical device facility here, manufacturing facility. Um, this is geared towards predominantly instrument manufacturing, uh, smaller component, high precision manufacturing. So we went to Switzerland, we looked at two machines, two manufacturing solutions. We couldn't decide which was, they were both really good kits, um, so we ended up buying both, so we could put both of them head to head and see which was the better solution. Yes, so 18 months on now, um, we've gone with a second Boomatech machine, um, predominantly because of its versatility. What we like about the machine is that it's got, it's so versatile. There's nothing that you can't do on this machine at this point in time. It's got the bar feed, it's the ATC, it's the three position chucks as well. Um, it has a pallet loader. So when a customer comes with us with a really super complex component, we're going, well, we could, there might be a lot of turning on it. There might be 50% turning, 50% milling. Um, we can do it on a Boomatech as opposed to bringing it from one machine to another. So again, it gives us that competitive edge. So, so within Starag, we can, uh, we can go as small as engraving the head of a pin, or we can go as large as, say, 350 some table load or 20 metres or above uh, axis stroke. So, what we're talking about specifically here is the very small end of the market, very small parts, and this 191 Neo configuration is perfect for the type of parts that uh, the Dawnlock are making, both for aerospace and for medtech industries. So the two machines that we've got here at Dawnlock are both uh, Boomatech's 191 Neo machines. So the, the, the two configurations are that the, the, the main spindle that holds the uh, the cutting tool, if you like, is the same on, on both machine types and the main drive spindle is the same. But we've got on one machine two vices and on the other machine, on the back working, we've got uh, a main and a secondary main spindle. But of course, there's, there's different ways you can build the machine. So the tool changer itself can be built in, in increments of 30 tools, so 30, 60 or 90 tools. They're the same on both of these two machines. Inside the working area, there's different ways of reconfiguring the the, the sub spindle or the back working as people say. So as I say, you've got vices, you've got live working, there's steadies, the centers, there's a number of different ways you can configure them. And then there's the, the palletization as well. On, on the right side of the machine, you can have these machines with a, a robotic automated type pallet system where components can be loaded from the pallet system or bar fed through the main spindle and then finished parts can be taken off, put back in the pallet system. So complete lights out. Well, since the Boomatech machines arrived, there's been a massive increase in our capabilities. They've, been ex they've increased significantly our uh, efficiencies in terms of um, how fast parts are machined, and nearly more importantly, the accuracy of the machines. The, um, being able to hold the accuracy consistently from morning to evening has allowed us to be able to run 24-7 lights out, which has a massive impact in terms of cost and allowing us to reduce the cost of part. Uh, when we got the Boomatech, one of the um, parts we were making downstairs uh, on the five axis mill was taking over 90 minutes. Since we've moved it up onto the Boomatech, it's gone down to 30 minutes of cycle time. The quality has improved significantly and we've been able to run um, lights out 24-7, which has been a massive improvement.
Yes, so you can see that there's, there's empty floor space here. Again, it's about growth. Um, and yeah, the, hopefully the plan is that we're going to have plenty more boom checks running lots of medical device components.